Later this month, Mercy will hold a ribbon cutting ceremony for the Dual Family Invitation Innovation Center for Aging and Dementia. The center is designed to help adults and those living with dementia through best practices. The center's director, Kathy Good, joins us now. So Kathy, tell us a little bit more about the center. Well, the center is a place to think differently about aging and dementia because there are going to be a lot of uh, older adults and uh, people living with dementia. The numbers are increasing in both of those cases. And so uh, we're going to have services there that um, will help across the board. We'll have uh, Mercy's Center for Memory Health will be there, a second location, our Family Caregiver Center, uh, an age and dementia friendly showroom and some kiosks with technology and products and information to help people uh, age in place better and some adult day programming for people who are living with early stage dementia. Yeah, definitely an important resource for families in the community. So tell me why a center like this is so unique. Well, one of the ways that it's unique is it's connected with the 237 residents senior living community that Mercy and Presbyterian Homes jointly has, is developing and our innovation center, we believe, is the only innovation center in the country that is connected with a senior living community, which offers us all kinds of opportunities. Those residents can take advantage of uh, what's happening at the uh, DeWolf Innovation Center, and it provides us an opportunity as we um, discover new ways and better ways to trial those with people who are right there um, connected to our Innovation Center. Yeah, and those trials are definitely just so important to, to help those living with dementia. Yes, exactly. And as I understand, you have kind of a personal connection to the project as well. Can I you do. Talk about that? Uh, my husband was diagnosed with a rare form of dementia 20 years ago. Um, he died eight years ago, and um, so this is really, as I've created the Caregiver Center and the Innovation Center, is really the good to come out of the not so good of his dementia. Yeah, and so what does that mean to you seeing this project come to life? Well, sometimes it gets me a little teary, a little emotional to think that I've had this opportunity to uh, hopefully make things better for not just caregivers, but older adults and those people who are actually living with dementia. Yeah, absolutely. And talk about the ribbon cutting and when it is. Yes, it is June 22nd, coming right up, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll have a short program and then people will have the opportunity to do some self-guided tours and see how we've uh, um, created an innovation center out of the former Echo Hill Presbyterian Church. All right, such an amazing project. Well, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Stay with TV9.